It's been over 30 years since Playmates first released in 1988, their original lineup of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures. And like most of you watching this video, I absolutely had to have them all. Fortunately though, for those of you that missed out initially, or for those of you that want to kickstart that original nostalgic feeling you had as a child, GameStop has released this new four pack that is a reissue of the original four heroic turtles from that lineup. So in today's video, we're going to be unboxing and comparing and contrasting the old turtles versus these reissued turtles right after this. So first thing, let's go ahead and examine the packaging itself. As you can tell, clearly this is not a card back item. It is an open blister pack with the viewing case in the front of just the turtles and their weapons. So kind of, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit in between on this one. I would have much preferred to have the original kind of retro card back styles, but whatever. Um, it, it is what it is. It, it serves its purpose. You know what you're getting. There's no confusion about what these are. On the side, we just got some random drawings of the turtles in the original animated television series style. We got a little brief description of the turtles on the back. And then again, some hand-drawn animation. So let's go ahead and open these guys up. So let's start out with the fearless leader himself, Mr. Leonardo. Overall, I mean, it's pretty obvious that they use the exact same molds from back in the day. This is the hard head version. This is not the soft head, so that is one thing to be aware of. As far as the weapons, they I'm pretty sure it changes to a slightly different plastic than back in the day. The older weapons just felt a little more sturdy, a little more hard plastic, which is why a lot of them actually broke. But the belt feels the nice, same soft rubber. And this is one thing that would probably make this worth the purchase is a lot of people that are like me that have the original figure still and their figures are maybe not in the best conditions especially the belts and the weapons the weapons oftentimes get lost and or broken um, the belts especially get broken and you'll see a lot of people on ebay and things like that just making an absolute killing selling little accessories like the weapons and the belts themselves but in the package all we get are the turtles and their basic weapon sets no comic book, no reading material, just basic figures inside the plastic package. GameStop exclusive, $39.99 is the price. A uh, little steep in my opinion, considering, like I said, you just get the four basic figures and nothing else. No, no anniversary reading material, historical facts, anything like that. And like I said, I really would have wished to see these on their card backs as opposed to the blister pack, but bringing in my old Leonardo, you can tell they are virtually identical in every single way, minus the fact that I've got a broken sword here, and this one is not even the right sword to go with Leonardo, but up close, everything appears to be for the same. Color is a little different on my old one. I'm just gonna equate that to the fact that this figure is 30 years old and this one is brand new. So maybe that's the difference in the shade. As you can see, the back of my original one, uh, it's not doing so well. It's no longer capable of holding the swords and his belt's already about ready to fall off. It's, it's all twisted sideways. So I'm very happy to be able to replace it with this new reissue and kind of retire him and put him away for safekeeping. So moving on, let's go to Donatello. Next up, we have my personal favorite Ninja Turtle, Donatello. Donatello comes with his trusty bow staff here, and that's it. None of the weapons are included as far as the weapons rack that originally came in the card back turtles from back in the day. All you get is their basic bare bones weapon that they are known for. So Donatello has his bow staff, Raphael has two size, Michelangelo has two nunchuck, and then of course Leonardo has his double katanas. But this is all we're getting. We're not getting a weapon rack, we don't get any frills. Uh, joints and everything feel pretty sturdy enough. It's kind of kind of silly that it include the extra weapons though. I, I kind of get it from an aspect of you don't want to flood the market with a bunch of reissue weapons and it turn into a fiasco like the market that is Star Wars weapons and reproductions and knockoffs and things like that. But it's a little silly to have a, a faithful reproduction like this to where we actually have a slot in his belt for an extra weapon but we're not given any of the weapons that actually go in there. So keep that in mind. But overall, good looking figure. 
compared to my original one. Again, the shading of the turtle skin itself, my original one's a little lighter. This one's a little darker, but overall everything else is the same. Uh, the mold appears to be identical again. Uh, yeah, the veins are in the same spot on the skin. Pretty good reissue in my opinion. Moving on. Then we have everyone's favorite bad boy, Raphael. He's got his light green skin. Comes with his two sai Belt, nice and sturdy. Again, these are really good, faithful reproductions made by Playmate. Obviously, they still had the molds intact, so they just reuse those molds. So, very cool. Authentic as far as I can tell. I'm not really seeing anything that jumps out to me as far as anything that would really make these different than the original ones, other than little things like, you know, the, the printing on the bottom there. And then the fine print on the shell, of course, is going to be a little bit updated. Yeah, it's got different different copyright stuff on there but overall it is a faithful replication and let's get the old one in here for comparison sorry his head was turned sideways much lighter skin here much darker skin here again I, I can't real really remember faithfully if this is 100% accurate color and this is just aged by 30 years but regardless he does have a different shade and so does the original one. So that is faithful and in line to the best of my knowledge as far as just giving them the once over and the look right there. But on the back, see the belt. This one actually has six rivets and this one has four. So that's one thing I'm noticing. Shell's a little shinier, shell's dull here. Again, hard shell versions, or excuse me, hard head versions, not the soft head versions for all four of these reissues from GameStop as well as my original figures here but you can tell my Raphael's got a super loose head there this one oh man that's sturdy I can't even get his head to rotate hang on oh wow I don't yeah it was just stuck there we go head rotates thought we thought we were given non-articulated turtles for a second almost had a heart attack pretty cool moving on and then last, but certainly not least, we've got everybody's lovable slapstick Michelangelo with his two nunchuck, these nunchuck. Uh, I mean, they feel almost identical. You can see, maybe you can see that, but just from being in the packaging, it's kind of got like that discoloration of being bent too much. That was the problem with the original toys back in the day is these would always snap off. Um, mine, especially, I don't think I have a single pair of nunchuck that are put together still. So that's, I don't know, that's a little disappointing if these are going to snap just like the old ones. Um, I would really wish they would have spent some extra time to make these a little softer. That way we're not in danger of snapping these off. So keep that in mind. Uh, his joints do feel a little bit looser than the other three figures we've looked at thus far. But regardless, very happy with how he looks. Like I said, these are all spot on replications, these reissues. So they did a good job with that. My original one. He said, I don't have a single nunchuck. This is the last last one that I had and it's snapped off clearly. Um, so that's what I'm worried about happening here is this snapping. So I'm gonna pose that uh, sparingly just because of how fragile that spot's looking. Regardless, skin color looking pretty close to the same. Again, this one's a little darker. Um, that is the running trend with all four of these figures comparing to the older figures is that the shade of the skin color is a little bit different but overall everything else appears to be roughly identical with the exception of a little bit of glossier shells and some different printing on the copyright spots. And with the holidays quickly approaching, I think this item would make a great holiday gift giving idea for those of you that have that special Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan in your life. And if you want to pick one of these up, I'll put a product link down in the video description box below to make it easy and accessible for you. And that does it for this video review, guys. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know every time I upload more great content like this. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.